literally good to the last drop. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Castlevania Season 4. Now this might be a little bit of a surprise to you, but I was watching this show for the last little while, and I actually finished the series pretty much right when the last season came out. I've been holding off on this review for a little while, mainly because that's just how I am sometimes. I've never reviewed any of the Daredevil seasons, and I love it, and I've never reviewed any of the Castlevania series, and I actually really like this. I'm gonna sound a bit ridiculous here, but it's pretty much my favorite anime that I've ever seen. Now, let me explain. I'm not a big anime guy it's just it's just not for me i appreciate the art style i appreciate the effort and the storytelling that happens to it i've just it takes a bit of for me to get around to it i'm really stubborn that way i've also never played any of the castlevania games but storytelling in this show is phenomenal every time i thought that they couldn't get any better especially after season two season three was way better than it had any right to be and season four being the final season of this show was also far better than it had any right to be, even though it's essentially kind of just a redo of the third season, which might explain why it ended on a fourth season. From what I've gathered in terms of the Castlevania lore, it's literally just a repeat of them trying to bring back Dracula. Now, admittedly, my first experience with Castlevania is I actually watched the first two seasons at the same time. If I had watched just the first season, I might have not been into it as much because it was just six episodes, and aside from the first episode being the origin of Dracula's want to destroy the world, the other five episodes were just... Eh? For us, the second one just showed this massive scope, and then it had that ending, which was insane, and the third season is a continuation, which again, I didn't have any thoughts of it being any better. And then season four does pull a lot of surprises. Warren Ellis writes a really good story, and he is able to make really compelling choices for the characters, particularly being Isaac. I thought Isaac is one of the most unique and interesting characters in this entire series. His development, his reconciliation with Hector is just so good. And also his battle with Camilla was insane. Sure, there are some scenes where the limitations of the animation is clear as day. But I feel that maybe they had choices of whether to go big and go home for certain scenes whereas try to mitigate and try to hide or sort of go for the animation rather than the detail there are some sacrifices made here and there for the most part a lot of the elements in this final season in terms of animation and fluidity and intensity and especially in the fight scenes and even at the end when belmont has his final battle i thought that was insane i thought that was really well done even if it kind of came out of left field and that leads me to a kind of criticism of this season is while there are some good points in this season even if it is a retread of the third season there there are a few characters, particularly one, who just kind of appears out of left field. He literally appears in the second last episode. I kind of wish he had been around a little bit more considering his uh, compatriot has this fantastic fucking monologue about being a vampire and just being a weapon of death. Just this inclusion of this character at the end of the season was just a little bit quick. Pretty cool still, but just a little bit quick. You can hear them just spouting exposition as to explain his relevancy to the story at the end. Otherwise though, I really like how every character has a definitive end. Not just Belmont and Cypher, but also Alucard, uh, some of Camilla's sisters, Hector, Isaac. There are a lot of characters who get pretty definitive conclusions to their stories, which I didn't think would happen. I feel that Castlevania Season 4 is a really solid season to end on. If you've never seen this series, just watch the first episode. Watch the first episode, and if you are not interested, fine. If you can get interested or hooked in that first episode, you're not going to get hooked for the rest of it. But I would be very surprised if you didn't, because it's some phenomenal story writing. In the end, I'm going to give Castlevania Season 4 a 5 out of 7. I might talk about the other seasons on another date. It would be kind of weird to go back, but really, if you haven't seen it, I would really suggest you do. It's very fun. It's very enjoyable. The animation is really well done. The voice acting is phenomenal. And the storytelling is superb. Absolutely superb. Some of the best writing 
I've seen for something of this caliber, especially also a video game adaptation. I'm pretty sure that people say it's pretty much the best video game adaptation in any sort of media, being television or film. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. If you enjoyed the review, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.